hello guys this is me reporting from down under um that's a really poor australian accent but guys i just fulfilled a lifelong dream of mine to go to australia and i just got back from byron bay which is where the blues fest was held I went with the awesome max jury so check out what happened when i went to the festival I've just returned from a what I would like to call amazing trip <laughs> to Australia I've always always wanted to go to Australia and my dream has finally come true um, I had the awesome opportunity to go to the Blues Fest with Max Jury and I have to say it was such a great experience however that flight is not a joke like we went to um abu dhabi from london so that was a six no that was an eight hour flight and then from abu dhabi caught a flight to sydney which was a 14 hour flight so guys if you're going to australia you need to set in your mind that it's a long flight so i'm now in heathrow airport with the gang what up we're gonna get on the flight in about an hour everyone's really tired but everyone's quite hot which is nice I'm looking forward to going to Australia. I've already seen the Laura Mavula crew. I know James, um, the brother who plays cello from the Rag and Bone Man session. And it was really cool. So stay tuned for Australia Chronicles <laughs> tour diary. Then when we got there, the weather was good. We got to go out and hang out in Sid uh, Sydney near the Opera House, which was like one of the best experiences that I've had. Yeah, this is like a dream come true! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've never in a million years envisaged being in Australia. And it's just a bit surreal. I'm really enjoying myself. And the bridge. Woohoo! We're now in Sydney, Australia. Last night we went to... <laughs> Last night we went to the harbour and went to Sydney Opera House. It's quite cool. And um, now we're going to go to... Brisbane so we're catching a flight now so see you on the other side y'all um, caught the flight as I said to Gold Coast in the morning and then we checked into our hotel which we stayed at for the duration of the trip which was a great plus um, you know when you tour you move around but it was so great great to be based in one place um, the hotel was lovely um, and it's basically where a lot of the artists were staying so like people like Gregory Porter is in the hotel, Lauren Vula. Um, there was quite a number of artists that were performing at the festival at the hotel, which was great. So the first thing that I felt was like, I'm on the beach. Literally the hotel was a two minute walk to the beach and already we're winning because I love the beach. Like it's my favorite place on earth. What day are? So we're going into the sea guys. My favourite place is the beach and it's so good when you get a day off in a sunny place. We got to do some stuff on our downtime. Um, usually when you're on you know, a festival you're doing talk when you're touring. You don't really get to do much outside of work, but there was an afternoon that we had free. So we went down to Byron Bay. I climbed to the top of the lighthouse, which is the most Eastern point of Australia. One morning we get to do touristy things. So we've come to the lighthouse, the most Easterly point in, I think Australia or the world even. It's really pretty. This is the beauty of traveling. Sometimes you get to explore the place. Even if it's for one afternoon and on our way back now because we've got to go to the festival. Um, and it was so good to see the views from up the top of the, the hill. Um, it was a struggle to get there because I definitely wasn't dressed for it. But it was so good just to have an experience of Byron Bay, um, not just shuttled to the festival. So it was really nice to spend a little bit of the time that we had sightseeing and being tourists for the afternoon. Um, 
again I would have liked to have seen more of Australia but I have to remember that I'm there for work so so we got to the festival we were given our accreditation which is the passes that we need in order to get in and out of the festival and into the backstage areas once we were given our passes we were told where our dressing room was and we were also shown into artist catering and basically given the lowdown about the festival and where we needed to be and what stages and what times so everything was given to us on the day we arrived basically we're in the dressing room let's <laughs> We're um, in our little section, but I'm going to take you around the festival because there's some amazing people playing to this this time around. We're going on in about an hour and a half, but if you have a look, this is the te the artist tent, and I'm just saying some great people. There's Max, the man himself, in Australia. Will you go in? You can open up a diet coke so I can go do this. Such worry not. Yeah. <laughs> You got Nas here playing and Kareem Bailey Ray, fellow UK girl. And I'll take you around. But this is it, guys. How are you feeling, guys? Oh, here we are again. Been filmed and I'm in power. Oh, I didn't bananas. I didn't know. Eating bananas again, like, I didn't it? know you were gonna eat a banana when I came back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, they don't feel too good because clearly I've caught them at a bad time. But it's fine. We're all super excited. Woo! Woo! Thanks, Henrietta. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the little bit of enthusiasm that's uh, going around. We arrived. We sound checked. We had to sound check three hours before the fest, before our performance. So. Um, Max actually was headline, not headlining, but was playing on the main stages, which is obviously a pleasant thing to, to do. Um, and, and, and to give it some perspective, people like Mary J. Blige were playing on that stage, Michael Kiwanuka, who you've seen in previous episodes, um, Nas, uh, Madness, um, Carlos Santana. So these are some really big names that he was playing on the same stage as. So it shows you how well um, attended the festival was. Um, and then throughout the day, we were prompted as to where we needed to be and what time we needed to be there. So as long as we adhered to the schedule, everything ran smoothly. It's gonna be good. We're going to the stage now because we're about to go on. So excited. this festival is that we were there for the four days generally speaking with festivals you go in you do your performance you might catch one or two other performances either side of your slot but generally you go in you do your thing and you leave so actually being there for the whole festival allowed me to see quite a number of artists that I absolutely hold very dear to my heart I also met one of the guys that I toured with with Stevie Wonder six years ago he was playing with a different band but we got to catch up which was fantastic so in those environments you see lots of people that you know people that you've worked with in the past um, and it's a great way to network and connect with new people um, so I've made lots of new friends um, particularly if you're a Game of Thrones fan I met Jason Momoa now uh, he was at the festival he wasn't doing anything he was just hanging out I think they're about to film the Aquaban movie um, which is coming out in 2018 and so it was great to hang out with some of the people that are in that movie um, they came to watch us perform which was lovely so um, after the after the festival was done we hung out at this place called Woody's in Byron Bay which just kind of to say goodbye to everyone because we've been touring for a little while now and we've come a bit of a family so you know when you know that you're gonna part ways it's always really sad it was really nice to end the tour with a little gathering and a few drinks so yeah it was a a great experience for me to go to Australia, a real dream come true. Um, it was a great experience to tour with Max and the band. Everyone's super friendly. Um, and it's actually really great to be home for a few days. And I say a few days because the tour of diaries are not over, guys. I am going to embark on a new tour with Michael Kiwanuka, who you've seen me work with before. Um, 
but we start tour next week. So I'm home for a few days. I'm going to catch up with everyone really briefly and then I am back out. So the tour diaries continue, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope the video was cool for you. Um, so hit that subscribe button below just to stay up to date with all our videos we post every single week. And also stay in touch with us on our social media. We post exclusive content about what's going on during the week. So all that remains for me to say is bye.